With that down, let's get on to main topic number one. And our first main topic today gets submitted to us by Maximo Becca, who writes, Hey, John and crew, greetings and salutations from Argentina. Well, greetings, Maximo. Thank you for writing in. I've been a huge fan since the Man of Steel review. So many people say they found us through the Man of Steel review. It's great. Uh, and from that day forward, you became a daily addiction. Thank you so much, man. I wanted to know if you heard the report of Anya Taylor-Joy in talks to play a young Furiosa in the next Mad Max film. First, what are your thoughts? Second, when was a new Mad Max announced? I thought it was a trap. In, it was trapped in development hell. Thanks and bring on the filthy. All right. Thanks a lot for saying that in Maximo. And yes, we were talking a little bit about the that Variety report. Well, one of the stories in Variety was about uh, New Mutants' own Anna Taylor Joy um, had been discussing appearing in a Furiosa movie. Now, a Furiosa movie is something they've been talking about ever since Mad Max Fury Road. But then the director, George Miller, got into a massive legal battle with the studio over Mad Max. It looked like the two would never work again. But apparently, business is business. All the other problems are kept separate from that, and they still want to move forward. So listen, as of right now, it should be clear, a Furiosa movie has not been announced. Just because they're trying to get one put together does not automatically mean it's going to happen. I mean, George Miller's Justice League, anybody. They were two weeks away from shooting that movie. I believe it was like two weeks away from shooting that movie, and that whole thing got shot, uh, got shut down. So what has happened is there's been a bunch of reports going around that Anya Taylor-Joy is in discussions to play a young Furiosa. Let's be clear about that, though. Here's the report out of Variety, okay? This is the report out of Variety. This is the whole thing. This is the extent of everything in that whole article about all the other productions. This is the full extent of what was revealed. Most executives don't expect things to get back to normal for several weeks, though a few are taking video and phone meetings as they try to game out films they hope to green light in the next 12 months. Director George Miller, for instance, has been meeting with names, including Anya Taylor-Joy, for his Furiosa spinoff, which he hopes to start shooting in 2021. Of course, Miller is making concessions to coronavirus. Those auditions have been taking place via Skype. I want for us to be very clear about this because this is important to understand. This is all the all the reports you're seeing about this. It all comes from that one paragraph. All the headlines, all the reports from that one paragraph. And what I want to point out is that while nothing in that paragraph say Anya Taylor Joy or Joy wouldn't be playing a young Furiosa. I think it's important to point out there's nothing in that paragraph that says that is what she's reading for, nor that if they do this movie, that it would be about a young Furiosa and wouldn't involve Charlize Theron. Now, there's a lot of assumptions being made, Rob, but I mean, and they may turn out to be true. Those assumptions might turn out to be true, but I think it's just important to be very, very clear here. All the headlines and all the people you're saying she's playing this, it all comes from this one Variety article, and the Variety article said nothing about her being a young Furiosa, just that she's taking auditions for a part in the movie. Maybe it's Furiosa, maybe it's not. I have been dying to see her in New Mutants. I mean, th th we've been dying to see New Mutants for a lot of different reasons, yeah. but her is, is one of the specific reasons I've really been curious to see her in it. I cannot help but wonder if George Miller's had a little glimpse of, of what's going on in New Mutants. I mean, it's been floating around for so long. I'm sure some studio people have done some private showings to some of their friends. I mean, I don't know. But she's a talented girl. Whatever they're looking to get her in is great. I still don't know that this movie's even going to happen. But number one, I hope it happens. And number two, whether she's a young Furiosa or even if it's about a young Furiosa or not, I'd really like to see what she could do in a movie like this. And again, Rob, it's like the Doctor Strange thing. I'm excited to see the work still moving forward. So that's exciting to me. Rob, you hear about this. A lot of questions. Is this yeah. movie even going to happen? Is it gonna, Could it be about a young Furiosa? If it's not, what about Anya Taylor? I mean, your overall scope of this, what are you thinking about it? Well, first of all, dude, I love Fury Road. 
I mean, I grew up with the Mad Max movies. I, I loved Fury Road. It was so much better than I thought it could be. I, I, the rewatchability of that movie is amazing. And f- the Furiosa character is great. And Anna Taylor-Joy, Anya Taylor-Joy, is one of, I think, the most exciting young actresses working in film today. I think she can really do no wrong. And I, I, I love the idea of her playing. I think that's actually pretty good casting, playing a young Charlize Theron. I think that's great. And I... Whatever George Miller would come up with, I would love to see that. But like you said, um, there he's doing auditions. That doesn't really mean anything. That doesn't even mean she would be playing a young Furiosa. Um, although that's probably a good bet what she is playing if she's going to play it. But I can't wait, John. Bring this on. I'd love to see George Miller. You know, it took him almost two decades to make Fury Road. Mm-hmm. And he stuck with it. And and we're all better for it. So I I I hope this movie happens. And boy, do I want to see her as Ileana Rasputin in New Mutants. I want to see her <laughs> wielding that soul sword. You know, in that TV spot they released that showed her wielding the soul sword. I'm like, oh my god, I've wanted to see that my whole life. I can't. I ah, oh, I want to see the New Mutants so bad. What What do you think that George is going to do with this though? Like, do you, like I'll be honest with you. I'll see anything George Miller wants to do with the Mad Max world. I, anything I'm in. Okay. So just plain. But wouldn't all things being equal, and if we had our choice, wouldn't I rather see a cur- current set Furiosa with Charlize Theron back in the role rather than a prequel with another? Ca- I mean, if, if that's the way they're going, I'm, that's great. I'm all for that too. But wouldn't it be better to have a Charlize Theron? Which one are you hoping for? Well, I think. I, I was, you know, if there's a young Furiosa, I think they might Godfather to it, yeah. where you're gonna where you're gonna jump jump back and forth in time. Because I would really like to see that. I mean, you've got how did Furiosa lose her arm? How did she wind up running a truck for a Morton Joe and that whole bunch? You know that wacky fun bunch that's shiny and chrome, John. Shiny <laughs> and chrome. Uh, I, I don't know. Like, how did she wind up there? And it'd be really interesting to get some of her backstory. And I, as long as they, I, I think doing a three-hour Furiosa movie where you're jumping back and forth through time could be pretty dope. All right, guys. The question here is, what do you think about this story? Would you like to see a young Furiosa? Would you like to see a Charlize Theron Furiosa? Would you like to see jump back and forth? Do you think this movie's even going to happen? And what do you think about Anya Taylor-Joy just being in it at all? A lot of stuff there to comment on. Jump down to the comment section below and let us know your thoughts. All right. 